Welcome back, this is the second video on image collection charts. If you haven't watched the introduction to charts and part 1 of image collection charts I suggest to watch those first and then come back here. Image collection charts are basically time series charts. But before that make sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon for notifications. Let's roll the intro. Look carefully at this table. These are the image collection charts available on Google Earth Engine at the moment. Let us take a look at the second type of chart, which is DOY series by region chart. DOY is acronym for day of year. It requires an image collection of 365 days or one year. Furthermore you can manually date filter the days for example a specific month or seasons of a year. This second type of chart display value of only one band inside the image collection for many regions over 365 days. For example you want to compare temperature of two cities of same country for one year or 365 days then this type of chart will be applicable. Please note that it is band and not bands like we saw in DOY series chart. The main difference between them is the number of bands and regions. The first type of chart required many bands but only one region. Similarity between them is that they work of a data of one year. If you provide more than one year data by default Earth Engine will take the first 365 days from the collection. Here we can plot a single band of many regions. Regions mean two or more cities under the same column in the attribute table. Let's dive deeper into the concept of regions. Take a look at this attribute table of shape file of Punjab province Pakistan. Here two locations exist namely Murray Hills Kant and Gota Gali under the column UC underscore name. This is a country-wise administrative level 3 data I have ingested into my assets as Gota underscore Gali. So if I have to compare two or more regions for a single band I will call the region's header name in the series property of chart arguments. Let's go to the Earth Engine code editor and practically demonstrate this type of chart. First of all I have loaded my study area from assets that contains the two regions under the header, UC underscore name. Next, I loaded the daily modus land surface temperature data and filtered it for my study area for the year 2020 starting from January 1st and ending on December 31st. I have further filtered the first 200 days of the year using the ee.filter.calendar range function. I am not interested in the remaining 165 days of the year. Next I have scaled and converted the data from Kelvin to Celsius scale. Watch part 1 to understand how I have scaled and converted the data. Next head to the docs and type DOY and select the second type of chart. Copy the code. You will notice that some of the arguments are in italics while some are not. Italics mean they are not compulsory arguments. Paste the code you copied in the code editor and modify it like so. In the image collection give the data you have scaled. In the band name give the band of the image collection you want to display as a string. I will give the LST band. In the regions give the shape file of your study area that contains two regions under the header name UC underscore name. I have explained region reducer and scale in part 1 of image collection charts so make sure to follow that. I will remove the year reducer argument since I don't want to reduce the years furthermore that was in italics or non-compulsory argument. Finally in the series property give the header name of shape file containing two regions as a string. Mine was uc underscore name. I will remove the remaining italic arguments namely start and end day as I have already date filtered my data. You can filter specific days over here or manually code for that like I did while loading the data. Run the code and the chart will be generated. You can see that the chart shows LST of two regions in Celsius scale for the first 200 days of year 2020. You can download the CSV for further analysis for example making a custom chart in R. Or do regression in MATLAB or Microsoft Excel with the data. In the next video I will explain the third type of image collection chart. Also I will teach the decoration of charts in some other video dedicated to that. Till then take care. Peace.